What's happening? Yo, I tell you exactly what's happening. Join us today as we're not looking at my Golf GTI, we're True. looking at his E30 325iX left hand drive. Very, very rare car, Japanese import. I'm hyped over it. Let's get into this video. Real world, this is. Look, the traffic and everything. It's happening. <laughs> So people get to know you for the cars that you drive, yeah? For me, it's split between two things. BMW E30s or Volkswagen Beetles. That's what many of you will know me for. Unless you join later on in life, you'll know me for the Chaser and the Evo, etc. Anyway, what I'm holding here is my last E30 325i Tech 2. That was a beast. And I just brought a little E30 model car out, you know? E30 is just not out of the blue. I love them and I've wanted one for over a decade since the last one. Bit dark, he said, so we fixed that with electric sunroof. No, I'm not sat on the wrong side of the car. This is left hand drive. I've driven left hand drive whips in the past. I'm not against the left hooker, I'll be honest with you. I find them quite comfy on the thing, but you know, something we're gonna get used to. This car is a complete and utter vibe. 1988 325 IX four wheel drive. I don't think the IXs were ever sold in the UK, so it's a rare little thing on its own. It's got some nice M Tech goodies on it. It's a Japanese import, so it does all the JDM sort of things too. But this car is awesome. Let's get into it. Let's have a little look around it. We're quite limited because it's not UK registered yet, so you'll have to join us at the crib. But that's all right, we'll get into it. We'll show you exactly what is going on in this E30. So, summer is coming, staying hydrated. Voss, 1991, E30, 1988. And what's special about this, it's got every single bit of BMW Japan main dealer service history from new. Mind blowing, I know. But being a left hand drive, you might think in Japan, they're right hand drive. We don't actually know if this was a European car at the very start or US import over to Japan. But what I can tell you, it's been in Japan since the late 80s. So, who knows? Right, so you might know this, it's a four door. That really doesn't bother me because I'm from the generation of more doors, more holes, if you know what I'm saying. Even though I'm a married man, so we can't technically go there. But that's all right. For this car, Alpine White, it's the same Alpine White that's on my F80 M3. So it's a matching pair. Come and have a little look at these work wheels because I tell you what, they are rare. JDM wheels, genuine ones as well. And just look at the stretch on those. I don't even look what J they are on the back, but they've got to be about a nine, nine and a half J. There's no doubt about that. Oh, it's thick. No doubt they're thick with all the sea sun. We like thick things. If you've got Google Translate, open it up yourself, see what you end up so with. So that basically means Tadashi Shinfunku Traffic Safety. You, you make you, that you sound push. easy. Well, what can I say in it? But, yo, the profile of this car, yeah, we're still learning stuff as we go. Look how much those wheels stick out, though. Exactly. That those, is immense, son. Those real lights are not genuine E30. No, I didn't so think they were. They've come out at some point. But I tell you what, check this. Could they be Cali spec? Who knows? Pop the trunk, ignore some of this. We've had it all open because we've had it on a trickle charger. Right, but under there, you've got the original mat. Underneath the original mat, You've got the original BMW bottle top alloy wheel and just look how clean that is. Shouldn't this be brown and crumbling? Exactly, if it was over here it would be. But that's a good thing about most places in Japan. They're not salted. Step here when it's here, because this is a little rarity on itself. We've got the original toolkit. She's all here, boys. With a little BMW key. That is just the extra bits for me. Just make a car if that makes sense to you. But whoever's had this, like most Japanese stuff, if it isn't slidden, slidden, slidden abused, they just loved. And that's what that is. 
don't get me wrong, we're giving this to you now in a dirty state. It hasn't been washed, it hasn't been polished yet, because I'm waiting for the registration. But, come but on. this is literally your first look at the guy. Not, I'm not on camera. It's probably better if I'm on camera <laughs> now, on when then. I'm talking. This is literally your first look at this E30 325 IX from 1988, you say? It is. In Alpine White. This is his new project car. You saw it when we revealed the F8 EM3, which is over my shoulder somewhere down there. But you were going to see a lot more of this car on this channel. This is going to be content heavy in the coming months. Soon as it's registered, and I'll let him tell you. He can tell you. As soon as this car is registered, it's going to be out and about. It's going to be at the events. It's going to be at Cafe and a Machine. You're going to see me cruising this on the thing. Because I'm not one of these. If it's a nice car, yeah, I don't just keep it away for a good show here and there. I actually drive them and I use them. But they're meant to be driven, if you know what I'm saying. Before you even say to me, you're going to be sliding this round and round about. It's four wheel drive. I'm not going to be sliding around there, and it's a very rare car. Being oh, a yeah. left hand drive, and what it is, I think when this is registered, it might actually be the only one in the UK in left hand drive. I think there's two right hand drives. Sam Garrett told me this, so it's on Mr. Sam, if you know what I'm saying. Well, check it out. Regardless of whether it is true or isn't, not unlike the Volvo, which I have claimed is Ferrari red several yeah, times, yeah, yeah. this is a one of one car, and that's what the thumbnail's going to say at the time, innit? Damn straight. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. In fact, this one might say one of one. I don't know, we'll find out in it. Right, with an E30, right, they suffer badly on the scuttles. Underneath you, mm -hmm. this is where they rust out normally. Yeah. This thing is solid. There's not a bit of rust on it anywhere. The dash, yeah, they normally crack from being in the sun. Even the dash is perfect in there. Not bad. Lead in the era, harness in the future. Now that's some bull, like I would say, I'll be honest with you, but I'll roll with it and I'm going to keep those frame sound surrounds on there as well. It's got full HIDs, it's got full HIDs in the fogs as well. And I tell you what, listen to this. That's proper German, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get into it. Because what some of you might forget, the hood actually opens that way. Not unlike a Mark II Ford Fiesta. Fiesta was what I was going with as well myself, <laughs> but look how clean that is. It's ridiculous how good it is. So we got a six cylinder. We got a six two and a half liter. Two and a half liter. Sixteen valve. Straight six, twenty-four valve. But it's just good if you know what I'm saying. I think these are about like 180 brake, 190 brake. They're not massively, but they were never much for the even the newer cars are, weren't. They, they, you know, it's enough. They got a nice mm. little sound to them. But yeah, that's looked after. At the minute as well, she's sounding not as healthy as what she will be sounding because it's had some tappet work done on there and it's got to be driven two to 300 miles to have them adjusted. Apparently, I don't know, I'm going to go and get a BMW specialist myself and I'm going to get them to go through the car, top to bottom. It's gone through the MOT, flew an MOT, first time. No advisories, which is quite nice. I mean, fair play, it's a project car. So you bought in knowing that it needed yeah, some work. I knew but, that it needed a couple of bits. But the but important but things and the nuts and bolts was yeah. all done, wasn't it? And to be fair, finding one in this condition, you don't. You really, really don't. But oh, I'm hyped over it. I'm genuinely excited over it. And right, stick with me. If you think this too, pop it in the comments below. I think this might be the best looking car I've ever had since you lot have known me on YouTube. True story. It's just hitting a different sort of level. But who's saying? Do you want to have a look at the inside? Come on then. Join me inside, obviously left hand drive, we've got a genuine M Tech 2 steering wheel. Now these on their own are like six, seven hundred pound or more. Bonkers, I know. We've got 136,000 kilometers KM from new. With all the paperwork that backs that up. So what's that disorder? Um numbers. <laughs> numbers. I don't know. It's it's not a lot of miles anyway. But as you come through, as you can see, the dash absolutely pristine condition. All the center console, pristine condition. Yes, she is an auto, 
that doesn't faze me because for me this car is going to be a cruiser like the chaser was i'm going to cruise it but this is the best thing four electric windows in 1988 electric sunroof in 1988 of course you've got your sport function there etc but you've got heated seats 1988 madness i know but yeah as you can see it's all going on there's so one with the computer screen as well isn't it but the computer system but do you know what the condition of this car is remarkable that the glove box is out because bmw 30 suffer a little bit you can use a glove box a million times absolutely perfect yeah and one time they'll get stuck now all the paperwork for the car was in there so rather than being you know a little bit we actually unscrewed it properly popped the lock off but i just haven't put it out of time to put it back on i've been so busy we haven't done it have we now i was actually responsible for getting that open which i did without breaking anything yeah you did it is a completely common fault with the e30 um the latch gets stuck there's a number of i think it's something like eight screws in total yeah but it's an easy job yes you don't need to break them honestly exactly so that's what we've done and yeah we're just waiting on some bits when i get some time we'll pop that up but uh yeah she's got the clock too now memory sake for me california scent santa barbara berry yeah that's what all my old e30s used to have back in the day and it's smelling like my teenage years what disgusting you mean <laughs> where's, where's the jdm ones oh in the back on the parcel shelf there we go grab that out for you there we go sam look at this jdm stuff in the house there we are give him a bit of zoom jdm stuff in the house but that's good to keep there you know i might not like the smell but it just works but yeah this car i'm hyped <laughs> over it i'm excited over it and it's just what's your thoughts on it because you know you obviously i ask you this question a lot when i go through a lot of cars because i do go through a lot of cars you do indeed yeah what's your thoughts on the e30 it's the best looking car you've bought since the Beetle. We agree on something. We I agree. agree. On that. I do agree. Um, you've gone through some sort of situation at the moment where, put it this way, right? You know, we did a new car reveal. We did your F80 M3. Yeah. Then we teased this, but now yeah. we're showing this. Yeah. We might as well talk to them about number three on the white scale, innit? Oh. Because he's replaced his entire cars with white cars. He yeah. only owns white vehicles. That now. is very true. What is the other vehicle? Well, I'll give you this cheeky little glimpse. Mm, that'll be coming in the future. That'll be coming in the future. True that. And I tell you what, I forgot to say. Mm, give it a zoom. Bad filming on boss cam. <coughs> Air conditioning. That does actually work because it gets cold in here. But I tell you what, we'll hop out. We'll have another little look around there. Yeah, man. And we'll do some finishing thoughts. I'll give this back to you. There you go, my guy. I mean it when I say it. I'm hyped and I'm excited about this. And it, like a beetle does to me, a beetle is... Right, it might sound cliche, but it's more than a car, right? It's just part of you, it's who you become, it's what defines you, it's what you know. An E30 for me, split me down a half in middle, right? Two sides of bus, Beetle, E30. That's exactly what that is. So that car means a lot to me already. And I, I mean, I'm honest when I say it, I'm genuine when I say it, that car means a lot to me. And I'm excited. Yeah, we're going to get a badge there as well. But the crux of it is perfect. It's like I bought my, I had my first E30 right when I was 18 or 19 and then the car was a year older than me, right? This is a three, four years older than me, but the cars I was buying 10 years ago weren't even a fraction of how good this thing is now in current times, if you know what I'm saying. And since I've put this up, it's all about is people messaging me to buy it. How much, how much, but that in for sale. I love it. Really, really do love it. I'm a fan as well and genuinely, since the Beetle, this is the best car you've bought. Yeah, it's the I, one I've been most interested in. I mean, the Chaser was good. Chaser was but good. But the Chaser was, it, it was a toy. Yeah, 100%. It was in Norway, a daily driver, which you initially bought which, at the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I know, but I did almost daily drive it throughout that summer. And let's be honest, the biggest thing of having the Chaser was going to Adam C Fest just to be like, yo, we're in that Adam C. However, this is a white Chaser that Adam C had to keep telling us this year when we went in the M3, he has a white chaser. It's all right, Ad, we've done it, it's good. It's all news, bro, it's all news. But this, this is awesome. Yeah. K Grant, apparently. And I tell you what, I would love to do more of a video. I'd love to do driving of this car. I'd love to be showing it out and about on a lovely destination, which we will be doing. There's a lot of content coming, but until it's UK registered, you're stuck in a street, I apologize. So, you know, it's, it's a sort of like hype of the E30. It's the start of the E30 series. Like we did, the, the chaser was parked in the exact same spot and we brought it to you. And that's what we've done here. But I think that's all we need to cover, Dan. It's, it's you know, it's short, it's sharpie. Sharpie, it's sharp. I'm excited about it. I can't even get my words out. I tell you what, right, I've had one of the craziest weeks of my life. It's been hell this last week. Um, my little puppy passed away, innit? So it's, it's been hard, like, but here we are. We're coming through with the E30. 
this is the start of Viking Views 2023 and there's going to be some dope stuff coming that's all I'm going to say do you want to turn us around and we'll do any little uh, exit together bro so yeah as he said I didn't want to say anything but he did lose his little dog I did recently um his little dog Rags, little white uh, Westy, has been yeah. in a number of videos. You've all seen her over the years. I'm heartbroken it? over her, I really am. So if I'm a little bit off to normal, mm. that, that's why I like. But she was awesome. We all loved her, man. She was an awesome. Definitely. But, but this, this E30 is yeah. cool, and I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it too. Hey, you know earlier on though, let's, yeah. go, let's raise it back up again. Right. I teased you had a new car. Yeah. There's also another car I want to tease in this. Now I'm not going to say anything, but. Anyway, until next time, push.